Yo guys, this is Andrew Talaga, and you are with the analysis and the commentary to listen to myself today and today. Um, today I'm going to be playing with the uh, rankings from each in uh, Kilos SMG V1.0.2. <laughs> um, Shangers after Shangro mission. It's my boob itself in red and dark. Uh, then I'm going to be playing with the group of Cole. And transverse steps, as you all know, uh, from when I'm playing Top Tree Storm, I like transverse steps. It helps you a lot. Helps you slide. It helps you maneuver a lot better with Storm too, with your blinks and all that kind of stuff. I've been playing a lot more back with the Ionic Blink Storm lately. Um, I was on a uh, how should I say like, hiatus on it because when they nerfed it, they really hurt. In a top tree storm by a lot because now you blink once or twice and your super is gone pretty much and it's uh, kind of crazy that arc strider and spectral can go around the map just pressing r1 non-stop and they're not getting a nerf or anything like that and us we got a nerf so it's like yeah the nerfs man getting into a point where it's hurting the game again like uh back in D1, but by the way, look at this dude. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, he's a special kind of guy. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, like we're going back into a situation where everybody's hating on so much um, of the guns in the game and all that kind of stuff and perks and abilities and this and that, that they're going to be nerfing a lot of things probably. Uh, to appease the crowd and all that kind of stuff. I'm seeing a lot of hate on Mountain Top lately, and Mountain Top, I even played with it a lot the last couple months because it is one of the only counters to snipers on flinchability. Right now, snipers are into a point where I, I know a lot of people say, oh, well, it, like, I'm getting flinched like crazy. And yeah, but it's not everybody, man. Pretty much everybody's getting this, like, unflinchable fucking god aim lately. Um, we'll be playing trials, or even the regular Crucible, dude. I'll be, like, shooting somebody in the head, I empty half my clip, and he domes me. Uh, clip, uh, videos, like, what band wipes. Uh, show that sometimes it, even when you're shooting them uh, you're actually helping their aim get back on your head the there's too much aim it's just on sniping all that kind of stuff and it's horrible it's it's not fun and mountaintop actually helps to deal with those uh, so you can push hard and all that kind of stuff and come on on top so it's like I know it's an annoying gut, all that kind of stuff, for a certain crowd. And that certain crowd is usually the laners and people that camp and all that kind of stuff. So, it's like, everything, I'm, I'm to a point where I just want everything to be good. I want everything to be good. We're uh, in dire need of a buff to hand cans, uh, SMGs, uh, scout rifles. So, two of the guns I just said, I'm playing with. But let me remind you that I am a veteran Destiny player. Uh, so I make those two archetypes shine. But scout rifles are almost not seen in Crucible. Almost not seen. SMGs. The SMG I'm running with right now is pretty much the only SMG in the game that's actually okay and decent. Um, Recluse got nerfed and is gonna be su getting sunsetted so you won't be seeing that thing in high tier crucible gameplay and all that kind of stuff. And when you say that sidearms have sometimes even more range in hand cans and maneuverability and all that kind of stuff and are 10 times better than SMGs, it's kind of crazy. And don't take me wrong, I don't want them to nerf those. I want them to take SMGs and hand cans and scout rifles and buff them to auto rifle and sidearm there's a reason why everybody's using sidearms and autos right now is because they're really in a good place and that's where every gun should be a normal shooter there's not like oh okay two guns that are always freaking season like you know the the specialty of the month everything should be good everything should be usable for the vast majority of the crowd so, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I'm using them right now, and you'll see that I still do good with them, but 
I <laughs> I play the game a lot, so. Uh, but yes, uh, this SMG though, I love it. Uh, I got it with Seraph rounds. It got so much range. Uh, fuck, it feels so good. Play with a SMG. I'm actually playing with a double primary combo here. And some people would be like, what the hell are you doing? I thought you hated it, actually. I hate it from time to time, but this is actually fun. Like, uh, change of pace, you know what I mean? I just got a really nasty storm feed. But yeah, so lately I've been, uh, the last couple months I've been playing a lot of Bottom Tree Storm, Arc Souls, Getaway Artists, and it's a really good combo. Those Arc Souls are with you, man. A day and night, they rush with you, they push with you, name it, and they're there for you. Um, and after they herded Dot Tree Storm by a lot, like they were saying, I remember at one point in the nurse and shit like that, they were saying that Striker, Stormcaller, and Arc Strider were too used, too much use. And I was like, okay, so what are they doing to? It? And they were nerfing Stormcaller in like three, four different freaking ways and I think striker in two ways and then our strider in like one way and I'm like okay you're telling me that this super is ricocheting fucking everything and then lasting it's lasting almost like 30 plus seconds sometimes maneuverability is fucking crazy mobility is fucking crazy it one taps everything uh one whacks everything I'm there with my storm. I have to get close to the fucking enemies that are all presently laning and sniping because of the meta um, right now. It, it gets frustrating. And Ionic Bleak was like the one thing that was helping Top Tree to maneuver around and all that kind of stuff. And the laning, the, like, was. How should I say? It dealt with, with Arc, uh, Arc Web. Arc Web was a huge, like factor to separating people from staying together and all that kind of stuff that's why a lot of people hate doom archers right now but doom archers though they do tend to like go crazy a bit in range and all that kind of stuff so i'm not gonna use that one as an example at least arc web had to go from one person to another person and they had to be somewhat still close uh doom marchers sometimes i'm getting whack from like the distance i just shot the dude at i'm like holy fuck dude what the hell so but yet again, I was talking with one of my good buddies, their blood song, a couple of weeks ago. And we had an amazing conversation. And I wish I would have recorded the conversation because we were talking about how much people hate on Mountain Top lately. And, um, you know, it's getting to a point. It's like, Destiny 2 is a game where it's a shooter, MMO, open world, name it. A lot of fucking different types of it. And at this point, we have not seen a glimpse of it going competitive in the last four years it's been out. And I don't think we're ever going to see it. Uh, the game needs to thrive at, in the fun department. You know what I mean? Everything needs to be fun. Every need, everything needs to be good. Everything needs to be strong. And we just have to play and have fun. All that kind of stuff. I understand that sometimes some people don't like dealing with certain things. Ask for a bare bone mode instead of like asking for a ton of nerfs. Imagine having a Destiny game type uh, within the playlist area where you see control, you see competitive, you see trials, all those game types, right? There would be one in the far left and it would say bare bones. So just primary, special weapons, that's it. No abilities, no nades, no class ability, no supers, no heavy weapon, nothing. Just pure special weapons and primaries. That's it. And it would be like a 6v6 clash mode and it could switch to control. So people, if you wouldn't like to play against rocket launchers and this and that, supers, you would have that mode for you guys. I think we need to like kind of ask for things like that now. It's because like it's to a point if we continue asking for nerfs on certain weapons that's where like sunsetting is a huge uh, talk into so we gotta be careful just saying we gotta be careful with how we approach things i've seen so much hate on twitter lately it's to a point where i even unfollow some people that just show hate constantly it's like we don't need to see hate all freaking day we do like destiny i think everybody in the destiny community can say this 
and just have fun. Just have fun with it and all that kind of stuff. I do agree that sometimes the, it gets sweaty and, and you know, the meta and all that kind of stuff can get annoying. That's why, that's the, that's the time where you need to approach things with a constructive way instead of like ripping certain things completely out of the equation. So. But yeah, this was a fun game. Uh, I'm gonna try to do more commentaries for you guys. It's it's rare that I do some, uh, but I am gonna try to do some more. But just a quick note to Bungie, please, please uh, fix Transcendence on Tatri Storm. Uh, it's still not fixed after I don't know how much freaking time. Man. It still glitches, it still doesn't work sometimes. You'll pop Transcendence completely with your grenade and your melee ability still there and all that kind of stuff and you get one tap after you regen completely. It's a major glitch that's annoying. I remember a player called Miss Noodles had shared a video on Twitter about it and we have never heard of it again if it got fixed or checked into. If it did, let me know in the comment section if if it did i'd like to know but uh there's certain times today when i was playing where i popped storm and i had melee and grenade energy and all that kind of stuff and i thought i was gonna have transcendence i peeked out of the cover for like one second and got one tap by a spare ash and i was like what the fuck man? so top tree storm is relying a lot on transcendence so it's like it needs to work right but anyways, I'll stop with the rambling. I'll see you guys on the next video. Please subscribe for more. Leave a like if you can. I appreciate it. Peace, guys.